Hello, my name's Ray Lowry. I'm here to talk to you about the Vibram Five Finger V Train uh, Five Finger Trainers. Wanted a pair of these for such a long time, but being an amputee and having a rubber foot that's joined from big toe all the way down, as you can see on there, it's all the way joined, it's not something that I could normally wear. So because these have got individual toes, my foot would go so far I wouldn't be able to get it in the toes, can't wear them. So what do I do? I got in touch with Vibram, bought myself a pair, explained to them what I was going to be doing, got in touch with my prosthetic clinic, spoke to my prosthetist and explained that we could do this but we'd have to adapt how the existing prosthetic is. So can't do it with the prosthetic I'm wearing, it's got a carbon blade inside it, however for my water leg and rowing leg, as you see here, this one has a split toe, so it's designed so you can wear a flip-flop, it doesn't work. You wear a flip-flop, it flops off. So there's the other split in the toe, the rest of them are joined. So the plan is to keep the existing big toe and the one next to it, cutting down the line of the toe where the, the next toe and the one after joins, so then you've got two individual toes. The plan then would be to chop off the three smallest toes all the way to where the base of the, or the, where the, the foot starts. So now inside the Vibram I'm going to have the big toe and I'm going to have the toe beside it. The three that are missing, fill them full of a, a rubber sort of gel compound. Once that's set, uh, I'll be able to marry up where that's full to where it's been chopped off on the prosthetic foot and then the, the two will marry together and I'll be able to wear it as everybody else can wear the, uh, the Vibram Five Finger Trainers. Uh, the reason that I want to wear it, uh, if I was to say walk along the beach, sometimes wear a flip flop on my foot and then I, you know, I don't wear anything on the other side, <clears throat> even just that, you know, I don't know, half a centimetre, a centimetre of uh, foam on your flip-flop that'll slightly put me off balance, it'll slightly throw my hips out and it'll be painful. So, if I just wear bare feet, uh, sort of uh, on my right foot and on the left here, you can stand on things that can hurt. So it'll give me that, that level of uh, protection. It's also extremely grippy the way, as, as it moves, the grips stick out in different angles. Uh, they're just like a sock on top, similar to a beach shoe. And you, you know, a lot of people have said to me, why don't you just wear a beach shoe? Because I'm not a nine year old girl, and if I wear a beach shoe, I look like a child. So for me, I wanted something a bit more trendy, a bit more sort of, that showed my, my style. Didn't know what to say there. So I saw these and thought, wow, like those. I've chosen them in black because I you know, can wear them with any coloured training kit then. I um, uh, you know, can decide to wear Bermuda shorts, uh, jazzy. It's not going to be sort of a, a different colour clash. From the Vibram Barefoot website, as you can see here. So, the Barefoot Junkies, Vibrams, Vibram.co.uk. They do them in lots of different uh, colours. So, if you wanted to be outrageous, you could and they do the socks as well. When I spoke to them at Vibram, I did ask if I was uh, able to get two of the, the right socks instead of a pair of conventional left and right. Uh, when I spoke to them, they said, unfortunately they don't sell them out of a, a, a usual pair, but they said they could do better than that. Uh, as I was buying them from them, they would throw in two pairs of socks for free. So as good as they are, they, uh, they you know, stayed, uh, kept true to the word. They sent me a couple of pairs of uh, socks. I've got one of them on right now, so here was inside the box and they sent me the five finger socks as well. Uh, I put them on and instantly it felt slightly weird having the material in between the toes. Just a sensation that you don't normally feel. However, within minutes that, that, uh, that had gone, uh, they now just feel really comfortable uh, and warm as well. So I've got uh, the five finger socks on. At some point, I'll uh, I'll get on Facebook and uh, give out the uh, the left uh, to somebody on the Amputee website. There'll be somebody out there who uh, could do with just the left sock. But you know, there's lots of different colours and styles. I mean, when you look at the ladies' ones, 
uh, or show my wife. Uh, there's lots of different styles in there, depending on how sort of outrageous you want to be, or if you want them to be more like a beach shoe. So for me, I'm going to use them for rowing uh, on my rowing leg, which is this one here. So, as you can see, I like it to look pretty special. I'm going to use them for rowing, as well as, you know, if I take the kids to the water park, if I take them to the beach. As far as I'm, I'm concerned, that is a great buy, and I can't wait to, uh, to get them fitted. I'm off to the, to the clinic today. So I'll be speaking to my prosthetist, uh, they'll be drawing up the plans on what to do uh, with the foot, chopping the toes off, marrying it together, and hopefully I'll add to this video in the next uh, few days, maybe a week, depends on how long they take to, uh, to do it, and we'll see the finished uh, result. So going from having all toes uh, joined together by the big toe, to having them uh, some split and gel filled up into the shoe, and we'll see how that works. Thanks for watching this. Right, it's been two weeks since I uh, last was on here saying that I was going to get the, the prosthetic foot changed to fit into the, the five and five finger. Uh, I think it's built now, so there was a bit of problems trying to get my prosthetic clinic to build it. So this is now on there. As you can see, we was talking about uh, filling the, the three smallest toes with, uh, with, with gel. Uh, that's been done. And the two remaining ones to wear it. It looks and feels just like the other one. I can stand on it. It doesn't change the integrity of anything on the, the leg itself. So, to me, that's pretty cool. I'm trying to get in and out of the shop there. I'll take the shoe off so you can see. This is my other prosthetic foot. This one here. And as you can see, these toes are all joined. So there is no movement in those. There's no way that would fit into the shoe. And this is what spurred me on. and the one beside it as we mentioned it's got the gap in there taken off the small th uh, three toes and inside here uh, this is still no big toe and uh, one side it can go in and there gel felt which also can come out expected. Uh, the prosthetic clinic had to ask for clearance to be allowed to cut the foot. Uh, I went to try and see if I could buy one separately, which was an absolute nightmare trying to, trying to find where I'd buy one from. Uh, all in all, it's working fine. I'm going to be, I'll be I've walked around the house using it, but I'm going to be using it for my uh, physical rehab class tomorrow. Uh, so I'll get uh, some rowing, some cycling, and uh, I'll be doing some hopping, walking, leaping, sort of it's a rehabilitation on my opposite knee from uh, from the prosthetic, so it's a, a knee rehab clinic. Uh, I'll get plenty of uh, things done there, and I'll put another video on to say how well that's gone. But at the moment, they feel amazingly comfortable, and yeah, they look cool, so I'm happy.